Hi guys, Marvin here from ShopsidaPage.com and today we're just going to do a quick unboxing and overview of the new Rock Captain Gaming Mouse so that you can have an idea how it looks like, what are the specifications and what comes in the package just in case you're planning on getting this. Because this is a new product from Rockiers and I think this is not yet released and we don't have a pricing yet. But at least you'll see uh, what the product looks like right here. So let's go over through the box first. So in front, we have a preview of the mouse. So it looks like we have two variants, uh, white and black. And then we have the rack log up here. And of course, the captain model name right here. At the back of the box, we have the key specifications right here. So it has a 3389 sensor with adjustable lift of distance of 1 millimeter. It also features a paracord cable, which is nice. And it has an adjustable polling rate. And it looks like it is lightweight as well at 78 grams. It also has an ergonomic design. I've actually tested this and handled this on an event and it is pretty comfortable. And uh, I really like the mouse actually. So it also features one switches. I'm not sure about this because I'm a fan of Omron, although it has some double clicking issues, but I still prefer the lightweight click. But let's see if my preference will change with the Rack Captain. So let's see what comes in the package. The packaging is actually pretty nice, guys. Uh, for a budget gaming mouse like this, it does not look cheap at all. Alright, so first thing you'll notice inside the box is of course the mouse itself are uh, nicely protected by the usual plastic packaging. So let me just remove the mouse for the meantime. So inside the box, we have the user manual right here. Pretty easy to understand. We also have here the specifications again of the mouse. Here's a closer look, just in case you're interested. So, basing on the manual right here, it has adjustable DPI of up to 16,000 actually and the corresponding DPI uh, numbers has its own color coordination right here and of course you can change the RGB LED illumination uh, profile change and of course you can factor reset and uh, change the polling rate right here all right so what else do we have here inside the box so it looks like we have a couple of mouse feet replacements right here and I think this is the button for DPI. So we have different colors of rubber uh, cover for the DPI button, which is pretty cool. So let's check out the mouse itself now. So here's the new Rack Captain Gaming Mouse. So as you can see, the overall design of the mouse is actually really, really cool. It looks pretty nice uh, for a budget mouse. I think it should be around less than 1,500, hopefully. Hopefully, guys, so that um, it will still be around the budget range of Rakir's peripherals. So as you can see, the looks of the mouse is really nice. Uh, the texture is matte finish with a smooth texture. I really like this kind of finish. I just hope that it will hold up over time, especially again, if you have sweaty hands like me. But I like this texture compared to, uh, let's say, glossy finish because it's going to be uh, sticky at some point. And again, I like this... Uh, Coating. It goes around the mouse, the same coating right here, right here, and here. So let us go over to the parts overview. So in front, um, we have the left and right mouse clickers, of course. And then we have the scroll wheel right here. Let me just double check. The scroll wheel is actually pretty nice. It doesn't have any wobble and it does have the strong notches actually and it doesn't have any wobble. The button click is pretty crisp, which is good. At the center, we have the DPI button. And like I said earlier, I think this is replaceable with the other color um, rubber cover as well. So right here at the back, we have the Rock logo, which is illuminated. And we also have an RGB lining here, which is a nice touch. At the side, we have the forward and back buttons. Pretty crispy. I don't have any um, issues with this. And I think it's pretty easy to reach, as you can see here. And it looks like it has a quite hefty bump. But it is pretty comfortable, at least for my hands right here. I have a big, I have a small but chubby hands. And it feels right, as you can see. At the other side, it is just a plain uh, design and it doesn't have any additional grip, which is okay. So at the bottom of the mouse, we have two large mouse feet. And we have a switch right here. I think this is a switch for the polling rate, I'm not sure. But it has a 125, 500, and 100 uh, settings right here. And of course, we have the uh, 3389 sensor, which is pretty decent for a gaming mouse. And we have the certifications, the 
a captain model name, and a QR code right here. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the overview of the mouse. Um, before I forgot, it features a paracord cable, which is pretty soft and flexible. And it also has a Velcro strap right here. The paracord cable is actually pretty soft and flexible, so it would help reduce the cable drag when you play um, FPS games or for normal use. I really appreciate this compared to the normal or traditional uh, braided cable as this will definitely reduce the cable drag. So that's about it guys for the quick unboxing and overview. Of course, I'm going to do a full review on this, but I just wanted to make sure that you see this mouse as soon as I get this because this is fairly new and a lot of you are already waiting for this release. I'm also waiting for the release date and of course the price. And again, I hope this is just around 1,500 or below to be aligned with the pricing of the usual products from Rackiers. I don't think they'll be pricing this very high since that's their vision actually to make their products very affordable for budget gamers like us guys. So there you have it guys. Um, watch out for my full review of this mouse uh, on this channel. So make sure to subscribe and of course like our Facebook page because that's where I post most of the updates with regards to newly released products. So make sure to like our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram and of course like and subscribe on this channel for more quick unboxing like this. Thank you for watching guys. I appreciate you all. Have a great day.